right like they just all look very very similar they get like the same stuff to refurnish after people move out this act looks okay guardian at the end so we'll probably survive to act two Hey Sam Carfax, hey Midnight Heart, hey Kablamo. Generally if somebody is like actively an asshole to me, Solterra, I ban them from the channel. Um, this isn't really a place for being an active asshole to me. So I don't really have to put up with that because like people just get banned. Try a refresh, Clamsy. I guess you can't hear me. Ingromante, hello. Jeez, this jawworm is very angry. I'll take a flying knee over a finisher. I think taking finisher there is okay too. Is this the early stream? This is a pretty normal time for the stream to start. Are you saying like I'm gonna do two streams today and this is the first one? That is correct. <laughs> Here I sparrow gun, that's sort of hilarious. Choke's not really doing it for me. Bane's not really doing it for me. Acrobatics is not really, not really it, is it? We're definitely not going this way. There was a world in which we got to go this way, but we don't live in it. Okay, we could use some sort of damage here. Neutralize, writhe, die, die, die. That'd be a good one. Poison stab would also be a good one. Is there any universe where I don't just take die, die, die? I don't think so. I take poison stab too. Oh fuck, maybe that's the universe where I don't just take die, die, die. <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, thanks for the 660 bits, Anne Hathaway. Much appreciated. Hey, Dragon Zumbra. Hey, Ankev. <laughs> the odds were pretty okay on that one. It depends where you start counting from. If you start counting from after a turned over the first well laid plans, then yes. If you start counting from before I turned over the first well laid plans, then no. <laughs> no, it is very unlikely that I get a well laid plans there before I turn over the first one. I unsubscribe from Fun Facts Strife. Is there ever a reason not to take the Golden Idol? Well, the Idol itself is good. The part where you have to pay health for it is not so great. So sometimes you don't take it because you care about the health more. Sh 
Sure do seem to be attacking me for a lot of damage there, like a Vulan. Four, four, six. Four, four, six. That is one chart. All right, so I'm going to use my exploding potion too here. Let's go footwork and our calcum and. I guess resting gets better with Dreamcatcher. Okay. And with Aura Calcum, we're probably mostly safe here. Slash is okay, Dagger Spray is okay. I think I quick slash. A dash goes in the deck, and now we beat this elite. With our Calcum, we're fine against Gremlin Knob. Sentries are not a big deal with Die to Die Plus, I don't think. Ever take injury in the idle event? Uh, not much. Easy Slayer. Dagger Spray is definitely a lot worse when we have Die Die Die, yeah. Definitely true. Is Survivor even worth the two health? I think it's probably not. Let's do that. Yeah, Eamsy. Who I am, Puha. Thanks for the two months. I'll go more show to you as well. Well, injury is a pretty bad card. That's why you don't want to put it in your deck. Simple enough. Paper crane after image. I accept. Glad I got that elite fight in, huh? After image does turn off our calcum. That's fine though. We got a footwork with a dodge and roll. Big issue right now is our damage doesn't really scale. I think I do still take dodge and roll, but it's a bit of a grindy deck. Also, upgrading footwork over neutralize there is sort of uh, questionable, I think. Why the after image when I have Hara Calcum? There's like a very slight anti synergy between those two things. It is not very significant. All right. I'm 
Sorry, I'm jamming right now. 12 plus 9 plus 9 is 30. Almost got it. Just a couple more points of damage, I would say. <laughs> I saw Bobby McFerrin at a uh, Benaroya Hall. I think that's what it's called. The place where they do opera or orchestra, orchestra in Seattle. I do have a nice color scheme in my relics. We got all the green ones again, but the yellow ones are carrying a little bit for us. Gonna just hold dodge and roll for two more turns, then play it before the big slam again. Damage is definitely not what this deck is about right now. Hey Diabito! Uh, thanks very much for the five months. It has been five months. Longbow Mushu to you as well. Time to give up, Guardian. I don't think you won. Taking Die 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 or Venom is okay here. Hey Johnny Bazooka, thanks for the nine months. I'll boom Mushu to you as well. A lot of the fights which we struggle to have enough damage for get less concerning if we just have 30 AoE from two Die Die Dies. Venom might be better than Die 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 for Gremlin Leader, even.
I guess I take Sneko over like a lot of the relics. Probably take Pyramid to I feel like I should take the Ring of the Serpent to keep the color scheme going, though. Hey, Gunfluster. Thanks for the 23 months subbed. Angbomo show to you as well. I have 364 gold. Hmm. Ends up feeling like a two energy deadly poison a lot of the time. I'd probably like take a two energy deadly poison. That sounds pretty good. That sounds like about what we need. I'm gonna take a poison stab plus. I'm going to upgrade all of my strikes and defense. Ho ho! Hee hee! Ha ha! Uh. the deck quite a lot better. I think that's the first time in a while that I've actually taken the upgrade option on Strikes Defense. I've been getting it but not having the ability to upgrade at it. Are Act 2 events better, or are the enemies in Act 2 too dangerous? Both. Strife Thursday in FAQ. In the FAQ, questions which are frequently asked are answered. We just picked up a Noxious Fumes and a backflip, I think. I think now that there's a Noxious Fumes and an Envenom in the deck, we actually do deal damage and we need to start working on just being a good deck, which means putting five backflips in the deck. Take two to deal nine, I guess.
In Ascension 20 on 3 energy with 5 cards that cost 2 or more and no 0 cost cards, would I take Dome or Pyramid? Usually Pyramid. Pyramid's a lot better than Dome. Tough bandages. That's just survivor right now, but it makes calculated gamble into a ridiculous, ridiculous card for us at some point. If we can find one of those. I think I like resting. Resting and taking this elite as well. Maybe there's an argument that the deck's strong enough now that I should be upgrading. This can give me calculated gamble, though. I'll take another backflip for sure. I guess if this curse is really bad, I can go to the hallway fight instead of the elite. I can't even imagine how bad it would have to be, though. This is a big chest, so we want to open that, probably. I would love a breakfast burrito in Nocturne Hibeo. How could I beat the game with only one relic? You just don't pick up other relics and then win. On non-ascension... Um, most things win pretty easily, <laughs> honestly. Well, I got Pain, which is not great. I also got Kunai. Uh, I'm just gonna go for this thing. Turn 1 Fume seems pretty good. Please don't kill me, wizard. I think I just attack this four times, right? It's 35 damage, and then 22 is 57, and then 24 is 81. Wait. <laughs> okay, what's the chance that I don't draw a single point of damage next turn? Like zero? Am I much of a reader? I'm reading The Way of Kings right now and enjoying it, but I'm like a chapter per day sort of reader. Picking one catalyst is okay. I don't think it's necessary right now. And the deck seems a little bit clunky. So I think I'm going to pass. And Concentrate obviously blocks for 9, but I don't have enough card draw for it. And Deadly Poison unupgraded just doesn't really hold up against Fumes and Venom and Poison Stab Plus. Plus all the Strike Pluses. So I think I'm just skipping here. <laughs> you 
You've checked out that book twice from the library and still haven't read a word. It's a very large book, isn't it? I am reading it on a on an electronic device, so I cannot physically see how large it is. I'm gonna feel really bad when I don't take the catalyst and I need the catalyst later. Man. The deck will get better at the store, right? Nope, not really. Okay, interesting. He splapsed. Strafe, thank you very much for the sub. Angbumu showed you as well. There are two strifes subbed to me now, actually. It's getting over there sometime soon, Kevman. Friend book, please. No kill. Book, please. I have a family. wounds to die. Wow. I got off to a good start. <laughs> okay. Gambler's Brew is great. Discards for three for every card I discard. That's like almost as strong as a Ghost and Jar, I think, right now. Have one dash. And Caridian seems great. Oh, it's a good waffle. So I think Bottle Tornado card remove here. He breathes. <laughs> Seems good to me. First piercing whales, great. Alright, hey, infinite blades with kunai, that's a good start.
Hey, Sans, thanks very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Agbo Mushu to you as well. Yeah, I'm getting a, like, nearly a full heal after this fight, right? So... Spending a bunch of money on full healing and then just getting a full heal after after the fight doesn't seem so great. Seem to have nine dexterity. He said if this go, I'm sorry to hear that. I hope he is enjoying himself. I think that at high ascension having a thick deck with a lot of answers is better than a really thin consistent deck. How do I build a really thin consistent deck? How would I ever do that? Like that sounds like a great thing to have, but how? This might be kite because of tough bandages. I'm gonna just discard everything though, non-stop, if I do that. So maybe Cage, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. <laughs> You're bored of my voice, I'm sorry. If the relationship is not working for you, maybe um, I'm not the person to be talking to about it though. I'll be right back, let me play you some clips. Why, hello there. Twitch chat. If it isn't you. Uh, I think I'm just taking Empty Cage and removing two strikes. Makes the Sokunai almost never procs. Could remove Flying Knee. I don't know what Moss Relic I was really looking for there. Like, Empty Cage is probably fine. I guess I'd be okay with 5 energy, but I'm, like, not that excited about 5 energy. Uh, 
is the Fire Gone ORS. OSRS Iron Man. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's hold on to Die 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 so that I can kill this before it explodes. Pyramid, I do, like, Pyramid would probably end up getting taken because it's insane, but I have a bottled well laid plans. So, as far as Pyramid goes, this is about as bad as it can possibly be. I rate the latest Game of Thrones episode. I have a lengthy YouTube video on why I think rating things numerically is stupid. <laughs> Z Slayer. How come I didn't bottle Noxious Fumes? Because Well Laid Plans was a better bottle. I'm gonna take Blade Dance, I think. Blade Dance with After Image, Venom, and Kunai. It seems like a good card. I would rather it was upgraded, but like... Shit. If Wishes were horses, right? Alright. I wonder if upgrading a specific card is better than removing and getting a random one here. Like, the two strike pluses are not that bad. <sighs> They're pretty bad. Eduardo. Actually seemed like a really decent steroid potion. 18, 40, 53. Nice. Cloud would be such a good card. Sucker Punch Plus. Yeah. I do have kunai at least. Alright. I don't usually like Sucker Punch very much. It's just a lot worse at applying weak than the other cards that apply weak. Better. 
Retain two. Oh, I have two well-laid plans. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I forgot that that was a thing. For sure. I should have just played the catalyst. Oh well. Fight that doesn't matter doesn't matter. This is my current opinion on this one. run going are you winning uh you would be losing i think but i'm winning Of an ouchy here. Currently taking 17. <laughs> I'll never take damage again in this fight, I don't think. But 17 is quite a bit. Do I have to bring out the mitigation goal math again? <sighs> the sucker punch made me take zero damage. Yeah, it's a good card. For sure, like, in this stack it is a good card. That is not in doubt. Can I steam some Legos? Is this like a steam Tams sort of thing? I don't know how to steam Legos. Adrenalines. I think two adrenalines is what this deck wants. Close. Yes, Martin, thanks for the three months. Uncle Boomu showed you as well.
Do I just tank it? Tanking it is a valid option here. I don't know what Gambler's Brew really gets me other than die, die, die. Alright. exactly 100 damage. Well, you know how it goes. We're still not quite dead. He built the unjust. I somehow still have a gambler's brew. I don't know, there was never a turn where I was gonna take like 20 damage. I was gonna take nine on all of them. Spire info's back. Two blade dances with Kunai. It's just so slow. Everything's so slow. Ugh. I think all of these cards are slow. Yeah, I'm just, we need fast cards. 
like accuracy. Fast cards like accuracy. Why do they already have five strength? That's not fair. Holy shit. What do bandages do? Uh, they make it so you gain three block every time you discard a card. Holy shit. It's still not time for Gambler's Brew. I think it is still not time for Gambler's Brew. Sure do have 10 health left. Oh shit, I have an accuracy in play. That's great. I do not have Envenom in play. That's less good. 18, I go to 4. Hi. Order, by the way. You build the unjust. Infinite Blades, also not a fast card. Let's take a blur. Take another backflip. I have to open this. Holding Survivor so I can discard my shame. I have no further need for it. Become frail. Okay, 
sure. Especially not if I discard that card, huh? I should probably not have reshuffled my draw pile with all of those cards missing. This is fine. One, two, three, four backflips. Yeah, okay. Full heal. Leg sweep. Leg sweep, draw pot, card remove. Definitely leg sweep. How is it possible not to have a calculated gamble yet? Does anybody know? Don't know if we have any calculated 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 gambleologists. Calculagambologists. Don't know if we have any calculagambologists in chat. Oh, you heard that? Sometimes there are dogs outside, it makes me happy. <laughs> Let's get rid of shame. <laughs> Grab a swift potion. Don't think I open this. Uh, that's a good deal. I have decent potions. I do have pentagraph, of course. Okay. Dead to Repto? I think I'd be Reptomancer. Should win this fight okay, too. Got a pretty nice start to it, even. How does that you know how much all of your gold is? Um, have you heard of the government? What is the correct order here? Probably this. Miss me at the bottom of the screen. Someday I shall return. Reclaim what is rightfully mine. But for now, I'm just hanging out up here. Is there a way to lose points? A name change will get rid of all of your points for you. Solid option.
GG. I got a deflect. I think a deflect, actually. I think I have enough backflips for that to be all right now. Four of them. I don't know. It's close. I needed uh, more piercing whales than this, probably. But here we are, and we've got what we've got. I only get one card. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yawning Angel, it's gone all right. Just gonna keep holding leg sleep forever. Like, I don't know. If something attacks me and I have leg sleep, can I possibly take damage? I highly doubt it. Do we get the pentagraph heal for the second boss too? Yep. How likely are we to win from here? Not very. A little bit, though. has very little front-loaded anything. No front-loaded damage, no front-loaded defense, really. We got the Gambler's Brew, which could be big. But dying to the Act 4 Elites is, I think, the most likely thing that will happen in this run. We have one die, die, die in 33 cards. Yep, that's correct. They add more ascension levels one day. Uh, who could say? 
It is impossible to know. Ah, the Eater of Time himself. I should have known. And so, once again, we are joined in unholy battle. Pessimist, we only have one die, die, die. Optimist, we have three dies. God, I fucking love that. Put that one on Reddit or something, that's a good one. Throw that one on the internet. Straight onto the fridge. Yeah, that comment's going straight to the pool room. The Castle is one of my favorite movies of all time. The movie is so good. Eric Bana's character in that movie is, I think, my favorite character in all of, uh, all of cinema. Bana? Bana? I don't know if I got his name right. The Castle of Glashenko. Indicating. I'm sorry to hear about your internet. Oh, that's a lot of backflips. Okay. Mm. I think I was meant to play Deflect. Here's the thing. So this turn, if I play any cards, basically, I just don't play any cards. Problem solved. I would have reshuffled my deck without the three backflips in it, though, which didn't seem great. Time Eater cleanses all the stuff on him. Straw Haitian. The heart doesn't cleanse all the debuffs, the heart only cleanses negative strength. So the thing that is gaining strength again later in the turn is a debuff. Um, or at least it's in the same category as the other things called debuffs, which means that if something is cleansing all of its debuffs, it will cleanse the thing that gives it strength later in the turn. But if it's not cleansing all of its debuffs and is only cleansing negative strength, it will not.
Are there any relics which are worse when equipped than having nothing at all? Yeah, you're thinking of the boot. Do you have to be dead to be a saint? Is it different depending on like which institution is sainting you? You don't have to be a saint, you do have to be a saint. Usually, yes you do. Technically no, practically yes. You do if you're Catholic. Hmm. You don't think you have to die, it's just easier to qualify once people can't see your behavior anymore. Oh my fucking god. Oh, whew, that was savage. All right. <laughs> um, I think I like the well laid plans upgrade. Okay, so what I was getting at with that was that if the boot is a saint, maybe it's unfair to use that in comparison to the other relics, because the other relics haven't lost the run yet, you know, so they're still alive. That would be good, that would be good, that would be good. What did I spend my money on? I didn't really have any money this run, did I? Cards and card removes or something? Oh well. Wait, this is actually a really good start. Strongly solved and weakly solved. I don't think I've heard those terms before, but I think I know what they mean, which maybe means that I have heard them before. No. I probably don't know what those mean. You should tell me. Uh, 32 block? Take 5. Take 9. I'm okay with taking 9 here. Ooh. I wanted to hold the piercing well for later, but... Maybe we just play it now. Oh, this isn't artifact stack yet, never mind. The boot! The whack. Get deaded. Does boot bypass hearts 200 damage per turn limit? Sort of? Sort of is the answer.
it's probably not meant to. But um, if you deal one damage with boot to the heart, um, it will deal five damage instead, but it'll only take one off the counter. So you can theoretically deal a thousand damage to the heart in one turn by dealing one to it over and over again with boot. Hey, Shady Bunny. Another boot sympathizer, I see. How's it going, Shady? How's the new Hearthstone expansion been treating you after uh, another couple of weeks with it? If any of you do not know, ah, my teammate Shady Bunny, excellent streamer here on Twitch.television of all sorts of fun video games. Um, largely strategy games like Hearthstone and Auto Chess. I have an okay turn here. I think my potions are really good, so probably I'm just meant to take the okay turn I have. Even though it's like not incredible. take like 13 or something. I think I'm still 5, 15, so 81. So I'm just barely below full healing with Pantograph now. Eduardo, thanks for the 13 months on Boom Shooty as well. Chad has been drafting your decks lately. How does that affect your win rate? How much of your win rate is the drafting part and how much of it is the playing? Man, who would let Twitch chat draft their decks? Sounds like a crazy thing to do, Kappa. Good, Enos Penby. <laughs> I love that email. Still on track for a chat draft leader reward spot. That's awesome. That's awesome. You're in here trying to get my viewers involved, huh? My viewers are, uh, I'm sure, the best Hearthstone viewers in the entire world. Get on over to Shady Bunny's stream and help them out. Yeesh. Uh, I like just leg sleeping there and then holding backflip neutralize, I think. That was the big attack. So we don't have to worry about that again for a couple of turns. Or apparently ever, because Catalyst is going to kill. Quantum jump. Man, boot doesn't make your cards deal more damage if they deal zero damage, it turns out. I have minus four strength. Oof. Still alive, though. Still have Pantograph, still have the Gambler's Brew and the Swift Potion. 
This is like build your own intangible pot, sort of. Flechettes? Okay. Having Venom, but no Sneko Skull. Maybe just another Fumes is better. Damage is very slow. Probably too slow. How many skills do I usually have in my hand at the start of a turn? Like four or five? And I have in Venom. Does that deal more damage than Fumes does? It procs Kunai sometimes, which is pretty cool. I think I just like fumes. I think what's gonna happen is Paper Crane's gonna have to carry us through the end of the fight. Defend footwork. Footwork defend. Oh, there's lots of stuff we can do this turn. Actually, I could get a kunai proc if I wanted to. It's a pretty good turn. Footwork defend, thousand cuts, well laid plans, malaise. I could also try to save malaise until after the heart gets positive strength. It's tricky, but it might be a lot better. And that way I use these potions on like turn 2 or 3 instead of later than that, and that lets me get more damage in play. So this turn I could go defend, footwork... Blade Dance, Poison Stab, Thousand Cuts, Well Laid Plans, play all of them. It's a really big turn. I guess I want to backflip, not defend. Hey, Westus, congratulations. If I'm going to use Gambler's Rear next turn, it would be nice to have a backflip in hand. to discard Malays to Gambler's Brew anyway. God, this is really hard. Um, Eleven, nine, seven, five, three, one. Sipsy, thanks for gifting a sub to Star Clover and to Lambo Simulator. Angbomu show to the three of you. Much appreciated. Maybe actually start with backflip here. See what's going on. This might be our swift potion. Mm. 
weak. Oh, Void is not a very good draw. Oh, Void. Oh, Void. Oh shit, that makes it one times fifteen? Wow, that seems neat. That's a good one. Okay, we survived the start of the fight. It is now time to start dealing damage. I think just get all the powers in play here. Well, I don't know. Do we hold something? Next turn is Quick Slash, so if I have Venom up, that's all the artifact charge is gone, so... Hmm. It's only three health. health. Get this rolling. There's a somewhat limited window in which we can deal enough damage for this enemy to die. So now the heart has four strength. Now is an awesome time to malaise. Hey, I drew malaise. The four strength represents what? A uh, six times 15 attack. So it'd be two times 15 round down to one times 15. So I'd still take nine if I malaised for four. It doesn't have painful stabs though.
Maybe there's no other way to do it anyway. Okay. Hey, Horl! Next turn, we're gonna need to piercing well, maybe. It's only got two strength. No, I don't think we even do next turn. So two strength means it's attacking for four times 15. But it's weakened, so it's two times fifteen. I'm gonna hold piercing whale anyway. Hey Adzy boy, thanks for the four months. Agbomo show to you too. I didn't realize that every single person who watched my channel took high school drama. There is the turn that we need Piercing Whale for. Yeah? I wonder if I'm dead. Still 120. Oh, it's 90. It's 90. I did the math wrong. I'm alive? Okay, please don't die. <laughs> oh, <laughs> holy shit. <gasps> oh, I was so ready to give up there. <sighs> I think I played that fight right. I think the other ways to play that fight lost. So, uh, yeah. Feels good. <laughs> Jorbs wins.